Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you item grouping in Reaper. Item grouping is a bit different from track grouping, as it's based on items instead of tracks. Now in Reaper, we could temporarily group our items just by selecting them. So if we select all of these by holding down the shift key, they're going to behave as a group, at least temporarily. So we can change the volume of all of them at the same time, trim the left side or the right side, or move them back and forth, change the contents, or even time stretch the items. And they're all going to be adjusted at the same time. But there are times where we want to set this up in advance, create item grouping without having to select all the items each time. So to turn on item grouping, we'll go to the Options menu and make sure Item Grouping Enabled is on. It should be on by default. We can also toggle it using the keyboard shortcut. On PC, it's Alt-Shift-G, and on Mac, it's Option-Shift-G. And we can also see it in the toolbar right here. Right now it's on, and if we click it, it's off. So with it on, we can create item groups. We can select them all by holding down Shift, or toggle select them, Control on the PC, or Command on the Mac, and just choose the items we want, or we could right-click, drag, and just lasso all the items, like this. And then to group them, we could just right-click, go to Group, and choose Group Items. Or we could just hit G. Type G, and now these items are all grouped. And we can see that they're grouped because of these icons up here. We could remove them from the group one by one, regroup them by typing G, but if we deselect them all, they're still going to behave as a group if we move them around, but not if we change the volume or trim them or stretch them, because they're not all selected, even though they're grouped. So they're useful for just moving them around, but they're more useful when they're selected as a group. So if we want to select them as a group, we can just right click it, go to group, and choose select all items in group. Or we'll use the keyboard shortcut Control G on the PC or Command G on the Mac. And that's going to select all the items in the group. So if they're deselected, just select any one of them. Hit that keyboard shortcut, and then it selects all the items in the group. So now we can change the item volume. We can trim them, change the contents, stretch them, or we could just change this helpful preference. If we go to the toolbar button and right click it, we could choose the option selecting one item selects the group. I personally prefer this option as it saves an extra step, but it is off by default. So if we turn this on, now we can select any items in our group and it selects them all. So you can move them around, we can duplicate them very easily, change their volume, trim them on either side, change their contents, or stretch them. I find that option to be very useful, as it's automatically going to select all the items in our group if we just select one of them, like this. Now we can ungroup our items just by right clicking and going right here, remove items from group, or just typing the U key. Type U and it removes the items from the group. And we could obviously create multiple groups. So let's select this item, this item, and this item, and type G. Then we'll select this item and this item, and type G. Now the two separate groups that are going to behave separately. 
we can move this one around completely separately from this one. Change the volume of this one or this one. Trim either side of this one or this one. And if we want to disable grouping, just turn it off at the toolbar or use the keyboard shortcut. And now grouping is no longer on. So we can move each item completely separately. Or we'll turn it back on if we want to use grouping again. Now this feature can be really helpful when we're dealing with multiple tracks. Let's take a look at a drum session. I have a bunch of drum tracks set up here, and to make it easier to move these items around, instead of selecting them each time, and then moving them, or duplicating them, it's a lot easier to set up a group. Just right click and drag, type G, now they're grouped. Now I can just grab any item and move it around to change the arrangement or the timing or to duplicate it or to change the volume of all the items or trim the beginning or the end, time stretch or change the contents. Makes it a lot easier to work with a drum recording all at once. And it's also great for dealing with takes. Let's go over here to a blank section. And let's say we wanted to record a few drum passes. Let's put all the tracks into record, and record a piece. Now let's record another take on top. Let's do one more. Now we have three takes of that performance. But to switch takes very quickly, we're going to want to use item grouping. So let's select them all, hit G, and now they're grouped. Now we can select any take and any track, and it's going to switch all the takes at the same time. Take two, take three. Very helpful for switching takes on multiple tracks. This is also going to work with the keyboard shortcut for switching takes. Just type T to switch to the next take. We're always going to be using the correct take for each track. Take one, two, and three. So it's very helpful for dealing with multiple tracks and multiple takes on those tracks. So that's pretty much it. That's item grouping in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.